Well, it's May the 13th, Sunday, 2018. It's Mother's Day. My window's open. The neighbor kids are outside playing, and it is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I want to wish all of you moms out there a very happy and blessed Mother's Day. Good Sunday, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, precious brothers and sisters. I just got in the door from Riverbank Park out in Flint, Michigan, downtown Flint. We were at the amphitheater today, and we had our very first fellowship and service in the park, and it was amazing. God showed up. And the Holy Spirit just filled that park today. One young man, 28 years old by the name of Chris, gave his life to Jesus. We had one salvation today, and it was just an awesome day. None of this could have been possible without the help from Christy, my wife Christy. She worked so hard to help me pull this off today. And what a blessed day we had. I want to share my day with you our very first fellowship service in the park where we fed the homeless we provided clothes and personal hygiene products and bibles and now we're out of everything i thought the very first service in the park probably not very many very many very few would show up but the homeless were there and we were able to bless them today thanks to all of you that support this ministry let me share my day with you. All right, we're out here in Flint, Michigan in uh, Riverbank Park, and uh, it's Mother's Day. I want to wish everybody a lot of people behind me, happy Mother's Day. Now, tell us your story. You're out here, and I know you got the cross, and you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, but it's been a struggle, huh? Yes, it's been three years that I've been almost clean, 522nd. Amen. And um, it's, I was almost five, year, five years homeless, but now I have a home. Amen. And it's been a really tough struggle right. to get where I'm at now. But, you know now in the beginning were you born again were you saved or did yes i was but okay. i was lost so you were lost yes okay. and now i'm found and now you're found and, and you know i'm born again and you know thank you sir i'm i'm a believer i've been a believer i just didn't know he was still there by my side but he was right amen i know god doesn't give me anything that i cannot handle he never does no. he never does he'll see you through it Yes, he will. Always, always believe with always. faith. And you know, it's oh, been oh, tough. Okay. Yep. Uh, three years. Yep. It's so you've come out of homelessness through faith and believing and trusting in, in the Lord. And yes, I have. Yeah. Amen. And go to church every Sunday now. Amen. God bless you. That's what I, it's all about. I've been about. blessed by God quite a few times. What is that? Amen. And he told me not to hold it. Give, right. give it away. Give it away. That's what we're here. We're here yeah. to, just to spread the love of Jesus. Yes. Bring, bring God, bring God back in the city of Flint. He's the God of this city. You know. Yes. Amen. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to come to him. He kept on fighting me back, talking about violence. I'm like, dude, we're not talking about violence. We're talking about something that's good. No, it's not, it's Whatever you're doing, just Did take a moment. And, no. They don't want you to do is close your eyes, no. bow your head. They don't want no. you know. They want to be. So let me open up real quick with prayer. Let's bow our head and bow our hearts and go before the Most High Living God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the Isaac, and Jacob. He's the great God. He's the great I Am. He's the I Am that I Am. He is the Alpha, and He is the Omega. He's the beginning, and He's the ending. He's a mighty God. He's a powerful God. He's a merciful God. His mercy endures forever. Father God, we come before you. I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for this fellowship today. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Touch each and every person here right now, Father God, that can open their hearts to you, God, that will draw them close to you, that they'll experience you right now, Father God. I pray for the heavens to open, the 
for a Holy Spirit rain, a tempest to pour down, to rain down upon your church, upon your people right now. Father, let them experience you and your amazing love. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel the presence and the power and the majesty of you, God. Let them draw close to you, God. They'll never be the same. They'll never, ever be the same again once they experience you and your amazing, amazing love. Father, to you be the honor and the praise and the glory. We just love you so much forever and ever. And we all said, Amen. Amen. And amen. I want you guys to know that, Father, that God loves you. He sent his only begotten son for this world for you. For me, I was not worthy to believe it. Why would he want to save someone like me? I got enough. But he did. He was there. He's there with all of us. I want you guys to listen to me now. Every step of the way to your life. What you uh, attributed to luck. It wasn't luck. He was there. He was picking you up. Even though you didn't know him. Even though you turned your back on him. What I want to do now is ask anyone if you need prayer, just come up privately and write to me. If you need healing, if you're suffering in the body, Jesus, before he ascended on to the Father, before he went up and ascended onto that cloud, and he said to his disciples, You've seen me cast out demons, you've seen me heal the sick, the sight of the blind, have the lame walk. Have the have the the just here with you. Said, you will do greater things. There's power in the name of prayer and healing. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you so much. Yeah. I probably know it by heart. Let me sit on cooler, man. <laughs> Preacher, man. Yeah. Let me sit on this cooler, man. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. There it is. Can everybody see the flashlight? In the book of Matthew, the 25th chapter, we hear about a lot of people talking about. Come on, Let me see the
All right, uh, happy Mother's Day to all of you again, and uh, I want to thank all of you for watching. We're on our way home from our first fellowship in the park, Riverbank Park, downtown Flint, uh, Michigan today, and what a blessing it was to be out there and to be preaching and to feeding, uh, feeding the poor and feeding the homeless and just spreading uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, I, I am just without words. A young man by the name of Christopher, I believe he's 26 years old, and he gave his life to Jesus and came to salvation right there in the park today. And, uh, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God, and uh, God bless you all. Thanks for watching.